Guess what time it is? It's horror pack time! And I didn't bring any scissors. Oh well. Just rip it open. Alright, so this should be March. March, right? March. Yeah, March. First one is boom! Ooh, Chillerama! I haven't seen this. Or if I have, it was a long time ago. Do I own it? Maybe. Can't remember if I picked this up in the great HMV closing sale or not. Might have been one of the titles. But either way, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, I just, you know, you'll love that cover. Alright, next one. What's this? It's upside down. Oh, Army of Frankensteins. I think this is Civil War meets Frankenstein. It's from Scream Factory. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have this. In fact, I don't even... Is this... No, this wasn't an IFC release. Hmm. Trying to think, because a lot of, there's a whole bunch of Scream Factories that we can't actually get in Canada through Scream Factory. We'd have to order it through a secondary party um, because we have a different distributor up here. But um, I'm not sure that Army of Frankenstein is one of them. I'm I pretty sure I don't have it. Pretty sure I don't have it. So Scream Factory, that's cool. Last month they had a Scream Factory Collector's Edition. Boom! What is this? Oh, Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. She Kills! Huh! All right, this is a, an SRS, uh, Ron Bonk's, uh, I guess, his latest, latest, well, no, I guess it would be his second latest, not his latest, but the one before that, um, and I don't believe I ever picked it up, so now I have the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray for that, so that's cool, nothing wrong with that, I don't think it's a very good movie. No offense, Ron, but it's one of those micro-budget, super-duper low shot-on-video type things. That's what SRS does. And finally, the Pyramid. Huh. The Pyramid. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen the Pyramid. Don't think I own it. Unless it was in a batch of something that I picked up off of somebody. Which is possible. But I say this isn't a super great pack. I'd say this would these would all be on the lower end in terms of desirable titles. But at the same time, I can't for certain say that I own any of them. So that's kind of a plus. So so far so good. Four pack is still making it work. So, yeah, she kills. I know I don't have Army of Frankenstein's. Probably don't have Chillerama. I might have, and the pyramid is not likely, but possible. Yeah, Chillerama is the only one I'm kind of thinking I might have. Maybe, but really, whatever. It is what it is. Sometimes you're gonna get a double. Sometimes you're going to get a double. So, yeah, let me know what you think down below. Again, it's not the best pack they've ever put out, but at the same time, it's not full of stuff I already own because four titles, or at least three titles that I already own. Though, apparently with these, I mean, this isn't... She Kills was released independently by SRS by themselves, so you could already have She Kills. I don't, but, yeah, you could have that, so... Yeah, it is possible to have all four of those titles already, but I don't. So, I'm going to say this is like a in-the-middle release. Um, if you don't know what Horror Pack is, 
It's a subscription service where you get horror movies. Yes, you can pick between Blu-rays or DVDs. Um, you get one pack every month, but the Blu-rays, you get a limited edition every month. Uh, that was the She Kills uh, release. Um, sometimes they are exclusive completely. I mean, as far as I know, you can't get the movie anywhere else other than the horror pack. And then other times it's like She Kills and yes, like I said, SRS had released their own thing. I think it was a crowdfunding or something like that release um, that you could get. Probably can still get it from Sub Rosa if you go to the website. Um, but yeah, usually it, it could be, you know, um, independent. A lot of the times it's independent titles. Some of them have uh, a, other releases, like I said. But there's at least one limited edition. I have heard that the DVDs are planning to do the same. I do know that there have been limited edition DVDs in the past, but as far as I know, currently every month you don't get a limited edition DVD. So, there is that. But, you can pick Blu-ray or DVD, and you're guaranteed never to have repeat titles. So you can get Blu-rays and DVDs, they'll never be the same titles, and you'll never get month to month a repeat title. Eventually, they're going to have to run out of them because, I mean, are there that many movies? I don't know. Maybe there are. You own them all. I own them all. <laughs> That's not true. There are a lot of movies I don't own. Um, but, yeah, if you want to get in on the action, I will put a link, I guess, down down there. You can click on it and get you some kind of a discount or something, I think. Um, and, yeah, get in on the horror pack action. Out of all the subscription services, I think it's one of the best ones. Best value for your money. Um, unless you already have like 5,000 movies, in which case you're probably going to get a lot of doubles. But you know what? If you're just starting out, it is the perfect thing for you. If you've got a decent collection, maybe you've got like three to 500 movies, probably still a good idea to pick it up. If you're into horror, definitely the way to go. And then even for someone like me, who's got, you know, thousands of movies, you do get titles you don't have or releases you don't have at least sometimes i've had the title previously but i didn't have that particular release so but yeah them's the breaks you never know but uh yeah comment down below what you think of this particular month love to hear from you until next video take care have a good one